Hello, welcome to Paper Daisy Journals, it's Kylie. Uh, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video of my creations and I've only just recently gotten back into my craft area. I do have four journals I'm going to do a quick flip through of today so hopefully that compensates somewhat for my absence. I do have to apologize for the lighting. Um, the odds are really stacked against me doing this video. Various things have um, brought the filming to a halt, including a storm that's about to come over, um, which is the reason for the low light. But hopefully there's enough <laughs> for you to be able to see each flip through. So there are four journals, as I said. I'm going to start with the smallest and the first one that I created, um, Anais. She's a little, well, I would say mini journal, um, A6 size, so smaller than my usual journal. And I've made her cover out of quilt pieces. So there's a quilt piece um, on the front and back that's from the same quilt. And then this gorgeous antique quilt on the spine. She has four signatures. I do like to hand stitch around the edge of um, any quilt covers that I use just to keep the two sides together and I've stitched on some of this really gorgeous French trim it's so petite and sweet um, in a Naya in um, the inside cover I've actually used a doily to join all three parts of the journal together so the doily runs through from the front to the back and I just love how much overhang there is it just make gives it that sort of shabby chic vibe I haven't actually put any ephemera in Anais so there's plenty of space um, for her to be filled up with special things the front here I've done a little bit of hand stitching and that's sort of like a little belly band there and I've used an original French envelope which I have opened up to make it into a page. I'll just show you the little tuck spots. So most of the pages are ledger um, or tea stained, a bit of fussy cutting there. There's some antique fashion, French magazine, handmade paper, some printable pages and lots of sort of tuck spots for things. I've used some um, bits and pieces and made um, little sort of snippet rolls I'm not sure if that's a, a double one um, yeah so plenty of space to journal plenty of space to um, store all of your goodies that's the back of the envelope with the original wax seal which is pretty cool um, I will link my shop obviously in the description um, I'm not going to link the printable kits that I use anymore because sometimes I update them or change the name and I forget to go back and do the link so I will eventually try and do that that's an original French document you're going to hear sirens in the background <laughs> um, that's just because we've moved temporarily to a house that's um, near a main road and I would stop filming but I'm very likely to encounter something more loud like a jet dropping out of the sky in one of its latest maneuvers because we're sort of a couple of hours from um, the RAF Royal Australian Air Force Base so <laughs> there's all sorts of things going on here um, so we're just going to push through I do really love this trim. Um, it has a very Edwardian feel to it. Um, the sirens are either an ambulance because we have a lot of older people in our town. We're sort of in a retirement um, area where people sort of come out of the cities to retire. Uh, or it's fire, um, fire and rescue because we're currently entering a fairly significant drought here in Australia so I'm not upset about the storm at all we desperately need the rain so hopefully it's not a dry one um, but yeah so there you go <laughs> a bit of
bit of chaos. Very similar to what my life is like at the moment. Um, so with this, I just have a snippet of a doily that I have stuck down on each side and then I've flipped it around onto the next page. So it makes like a little double tuck spot, which is super cute. I tried to sort of keep this as a peach, a peach sort of thing. Um, there's an original um, postcard. I'm probably going to forget um, that's also wallpaper there. What a lot of the things are called because it's been so long since I've done this. Um, I won't tell you how many times I've tried to start this video, but it's been numerous. There was a flat battery. I forgot to press record on one. Um, so I've been through this. <laughs> these four journals quite a few times um, which is making it a little bit boring for me to be honest but you know these things happen and you just have to make the most of it so that was little Anais as you saw plenty of space to do journaling I'm just checking to make sure we're still filming which is a positive and uh, the next one is Nanette um, so Nanette also has a soft cover um, I've used one piece of quilt underneath and then I've patchworked different pieces of fabric so there are little sort of tuck spots I've hand stitched or I think I machine sewed the doily on so very similar doily to Anais's doily that's a little doily patch I have um, some beads on the spine there so this is four signatures a pocket with a little button and wallpaper tag on the front and a little Will's um, collector's card and a little bit of embroidery at the bottom there. And on the inside, um, I've used a printable from my shop, but what I've done is I've printed it and I've scrunched the paper a little just to loosen the... Um, fibers in the paper to give it more of a soft feel um, which is what I prefer I've used some Amity Bloom washi tape um, because I usually typically do a front section a spine section and a back section just so when it folds it doesn't pucker too much and I join it with the washi tape a little bit of hand stitching so I hand stitch the word beauty onto a piece of um, printed paper and I've stuck it onto this front page. I stitched on a little bow and I've just sort of softened the whole thing by giving it a scrunch and folding the corner down. Um, that's a little um, collaged card and a tuck spot there. That's a printed um, piece of ephemera. I've used I think beetroot dyed paper and obviously some um, antique ledger. I did say I was going to forget things. That's some of that gorgeous German um, measuring tape. Um, a little decorated paper clip so you could definitely stick something there in that little space. Here I've created a tuck spot by folding um, beetroot dyed paper and I've used a brad and um, adhered like a crocheted medallion from a tablecloth onto it and just tucked a few things in there. Um, a handy hint with brads is to, when you've um, opened them out and flattened them down, just use a ruler to really flatten it. And if you do that, it will actually not catch on anything or interfere with writing in the journal. Um, got a nice lacy pocket there, a bit of wallpaper and a tuck spot there. Um, this is an original... French receipt for a silkworm farm which was um, a bit cute to find and I've just popped in a little bus ticket there in a little mini pocket. Here I've um, sort of woven a velvet flower down the side and stuck some music paper over the top. Um, I have a flip out with an original um, 
book page I've made into a tag and that's some um, Emily Bloom washi tape there for some um, secret journaling. Um, this is embossed pianola paper so it's got really beautiful texture so you've got the sort of holes and the embossing and I've folded this up here so you can make it into tuck spots. I just have a bit of doily there and an image from a French fashion magazine. There's a ruffle there so you can leave that as a flip or you can actually glue it into a tuck spot. I've got a little pocket there um, that's got cross stitching on it from a vintage um, tablecloth. Again, some bloom washi tape. Here I have sewn a piece of book page onto some lace and turned that into a belly band. Um, in this signature, I've got a ruffle and on the bottom I've just put a freshwater pearl. So that's an, a proper pearl there as a little charm just to dangle out the bottom of the journal. And here's another piece of printed ephemera. I have um, pinned a little medallion up the top there. This is from a Swiss handkerchief. I just love how beautifully detailed their embroidery was. Still is. I think you can still get embroidered um, handkerchiefs. Again, another little decorated paper clip there. And a tuck spot on the other side. I hand sewed some... Um, beautiful bobbin lace on to um, this page because the machine stitching would have torn the page so if you do have some delicate um, papers that you want to use hand stitching is probably the safest um, or least messy way of um, stitching something onto it a tuck up tuck there I'm not sure if that's a tuck spot or not. I think I just stuck that on as a little bit of collaging, but that's a um, an old book page that I've used as a flip up. Here I've hand sewn a few blossoms. They're more <laughs> getting more and more wonky. Normally the first one is the wonkiest, but not for me. Um, this was actually going to be the first signature because I like to have um, the most detail at the start of the journal for impact. But when I um, sewed them in, I didn't flip the signatures upside down to start with the last one in first because I sew this one so each one stacks on top. I find that easier. Um, but it's a really nice ending <laughs> to the journal. So a little... Um, wallpaper tag in a little doily pocket with a decorated paper clip and all I've done here is used a piece of fabric and I've um, stapled some little extra bits of trim on so that was really easy something you could um, definitely mass make that's another little freshwater pearl there and I've just used a safety pin um, to pop that on some original wallpaper as part of a little flip. Um, this is a belly band on a printed page. A receipt, um, I think from, it doesn't say what year, it just says um, the 2nd of September and there's a three. So I'm assuming that's maybe 1903. Another pocket that I haven't stuck down and original piece of ephemera. Here's a little mini pocket again here and a side tuck. This um, printed image flips down so there's space underneath to journal. And a piece of lace with a little bow and I've just stuck that on with one of those Tim Holtz tiny attaches and this is the back of the journal. So that is Nanette and now we're on to Elodie. So Elodie is made from a piece of quilt that I purchased from my friend Emily's shop Blue Linen Cottage. I often um, link her shop in the description of my videos. 
Um, she has some beautiful shabby chic things based in the US. Um, so yeah, that is a piece of quilt um, that I received for or purchased from her and I've just, as I said, hand stitched around the edge. I used crimping shears, so the scissors um, with the um, scalloped crimp. It took me ages to find those. I don't know. I can't remember where I got them from. Um, just to make sure because this was a hand stitched um, quilt to keep the two bits of fabric together. Uh, four signatures, so I've used buttons on the spine of this journal and that's the beautiful quilt piece on the back. I, and this is like, it must have been a pillowcase because this is a ruffle um, that was still attached and I left it on there because I thought it looked really um, cute sort of sticking out at the bottom. This is an old Victorian scrap and it's got three little birds on it. I loved it actually I just happened to have it on my table for inspiration and I thought it actually melts into the cover really beautifully um, on the inside I didn't do anything because I just loved this side of the quilt it was a real toss between which side to use but I wanted that um, frill to be at the back of the journal um, just a little rusted um, safety pin there with some beads original um, French um, I think it's legal document and I've just used some stenciling in this um, journal as well I've used a, a brad to um, adhere like a tag to make it sort of a big tuck spot and decorate it I've just used a stapler I can't I've got a box of these staples there, like a bronze color. And when I find it, I will. I hope to show you the box in the next video that I do so that you might be able to purchase it. It's just so much nicer than using like a, a silver colored one. Some more paper and fussy cutting on some beautiful um, tea stained paper using like the lace print. <clears throat> little tuck spot with some ephemera there and some lace and a wallpaper tag with a bow on the top I do love bows so it's a little bit of everything on this page this was actually meant to be a journal cover that was going to be the back of the journal with some wallpaper and this was the inside but I decided I, I wasn't keen on it so rather than just throwing it in the bin in a huff I tried to repurpose as much of it as possible <laughs> but I decorated um, paper clip there a little bow with beautiful lace on a printed page uh, just put some old music paper on the bottom of the French um, document for something a bit different this is a gorgeous handmade ceramic heart shaped button and I just love it on top of this jewel lace, this antique jewel lace. It's so pretty. Um, an original Belgian telegram. I'm just loving Amity Bloom or Nazi's um, Bloom tapes. They're just so pretty. Um, a little French and English flashcard. And I've got, I've made a little card out of some printed ephemera. Oh. And um, with these printed pages, I have stuck them together so they will either open at the side or the top. I'm not sure which way this one opens. I think it's at the top, but I'm not going to fuss too much with that. But that's a big pocket. Um, some stenciling on some ledger. Another wallpaper tag with a nice big um, bit of tulle at the top in a little pocket. I've got one of my collaged um, cards in a belly band. Um, I love that piece of velvet. It's in a safe place. I can't find it. It's so safe. It's in a safe place with a lot of other special things. Um, but it was hand painted onto velvet and when I scanned it I just thought it just looked so soft and beautiful. 
so that's in one of my printable kits and that's another um, little card with a little cigarette collector's card bit of beautiful wallpaper there um, that's the other side of the telegram um, I've just pinned on some of this beautiful bobbin lace with a rusted um, safety pin and some beads I do like um, little sounds like that in a journal um, this is an original French page I will probably put a charm on the top of this um, I have to remember to do that because I do love the sound that that makes. That's just a book page, old book page, and I've just turned it into a tag. Actually, my mum did. I'm still using those. She made so many. It was wonderful. Um, here's another book page that I've made into a tag with a dyed um, doily. This is a little hidden tuck spot here. I love that beautiful image of that woman. Um, it's an antique postcard. So I've turned this into a tuck spot by um, just sewing on a gorgeous um, shabby bow. So that's sort of through to the other side. And I just love how that sits out at the side of the journal. This is a, another belly band. And I've just... Um, stapled that on with a stapler I just wanted to keep that nice and loose and some music paper is actually quite prone to ripping even with hand stitching this is the other side of the journal I was sort of trying to make out of wallpaper and that was the inside cover but I've actually just turned that into a um, a journaling card an original um, French Madame Nouveau uh, postcard I think from maybe 1918 and I just liked how you could sort of see that through that old lace and I've just stapled a little cluster at the top there some wallpaper another wallpaper tag I mass made these ages ago um, so I sort of have them in every journal this is another little tuck spot made out of um, really delicate lace, delicate old lace. I have actually stuck that on rather than using a sewing machine. Um, this is from an old book. A little um, gorgeous piece of lace here. I've just um, used a mother of pearl button at the top there. And I've made a little um, card and a giant tag. I do love giant tags. So that's antique French um, diary and an old floral page from a book. Beautiful tab there. This is another um, one of those big, um, I think it's a pocket at the top. I hand stitched on a little piece of trim there. And that's the end of a loading. I'm just checking my time. I've got one more to show you and I'm pretty sure I've got enough time to do that. So this is Rosetta. She's my wallpaper covered journal. So this is one piece of beautiful old um, wallpaper and these are sort of abstract kind of roses. And on the back I've just used old um, music paper with a little bit of lace I've just stapled on. And the spine is a piece of um, trim that I've stuck on and instead of tying the signatures inside the journal I've actually tied them on the outside just to add a little feature because I do love I love to sort of decorate spines so when if you do put your journal into a bookcase um, you've got a pretty spine to look at so that's a piece of wallpaper there holding this journal together is this doily in the middle so I've double sewn the cover underneath um, the trim and I've just stuck that on so I've just stuck that on the front and the back cover and on the back here I've actually just sewn one one strip there so the doily is technically what's holding this journal together and it does have some movement but it's not too floppy um, so there's no risk of things sort of flying out um, this is an original um, 
sorry about the birds. <laughs> Australian birds are actually quite prehistoric sounding. They're not as pretty as birds in the UK or other parts of the world that twitter. Our screech, I'm not sure why. Um, but that's a wallpaper tag and I've just put a little bit of tatting at the top there. Just really simple, simply glued it on. And I've made this into a tuck spot with a little um, button and piece of ribbon there. And with all my little bits and pieces, um, they are scraps, but they're just so pretty. I literally just started sewing and I was just layering them on as I was sewing. So there's some wallpaper fabric and lace and I've used that um, throughout Rosetta. That's just a card I've made. Um, this is an original document and that's some um, embroidery magazine, some wallpaper tea stained um, envelope and I've just popped a vintage postcard it's from Willie Coleman the Coleman's come off but you can still see <laughs> the Willie on there uh, I'm not sure if he decorated that himself or his sister did um, and here I've just hand stitched some lace on so that is a pocket I've also stuck some lace on and I've pinned a little cigarette card, the little glass um, crystal charm on the side there. And I've just bought that around because I didn't want to cut it off and have it as another little piece. So I've just incorporated that on the other side. Um, another wallpaper tag with one of my decorated paper clips. Um, here's one of the collaged. I mass made those as well and just a piece of... Um, antique French fashion magazine and that's just pinned at the top there this is a belly band I've used um, some book page to make a tag as a little flip um, this is um, just really beautiful I call it wedding paper um, but beautiful paper I've embossed that's pianola paper that's embossed um, on some old um, music paper. This is actually handmade and I think when I purchased this from an Etsy shop in France um, the owner of the shop seems to think that the woman who made this hand dyed it that colour because she said it's actually not a very common colour for um, bobbin lace thread. Some washi tape on the other side of that envelope um, I've hand stitched on a little pocket. Um, this paper was quite robust, but I just sometimes I actually don't like um, the sound of a sewing machine. Sometimes I just want to be um, quiet and listen to a an audible book when I um, create something. So there's a lot of hand stitching in this journal and not a lot of machine sewing. I've also hand stitched onto this original French, um, um, I would say it's not a receipt, it's a, like a, a check, um, a piece of lace and I've just made a pocket on that side and there's also a pocket on that side and that's um, Swiss lace, vintage Swiss lace, it's really beautiful. Just a little tag there with a um, bow on the side of it instead of at the top and just a little ruffle there so that sort of holds everything together. Um, some tea stained doily there. This is just a journaling card I made out of wallpaper and handmade paper and I just thought that wallpaper really matches that um, beautiful vintage trim. I think I'm going to need to make a journal out of those too and have that on the cover. That's probably my favourite wallpaper. I think it's in one of my printable kits. Um, and a wallpaper tag just as a flip. I actually glued that lace on and it worked really well because sometimes you see glue spots. This is a beautiful old piece of lace and I've actually got it running through um, to the other side of that um, original um, French document. So there's a tuck spot on the back as well. I had it loose and I thought, oh, that actually looks like a, a pocket. So I've just put a book page tag in there. 
I'm not sure uh, what this receipt is for. I think it might have been services rendered by like a tradesperson um, and some beautiful st um, stained paper, some more um, wallpaper and embossed pages. Um, here I've used a glass button and I actually avocado dyed some um, sari trim. So this is a cotton sari trim and it was white um, but when I avocado dyed it, it came out this really beautiful um, pale mushroom pink. Some stenciling. This is another piece of that um, like scrap thing that I just and I've just stuck it on. But I was literally just kept sewing and just adding things and ruffling a few things as I went. This is a wallpaper tuck spot. I've turned this into a tuck spot as well with some of that beautiful Amity Bloom tape. And just pinned on a little um, tab at the back. And that is Rosetta. So we've got Rosetta, um, Elodie and Nanette and little Anais. So thank you so much for watching. I will hope to see you in my next video. Bye.